Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we're doing is we're taking solids and we're finding the volume. Uh, in particular, we're using rectangular prisms. And you'll notice that uh, the prism here in this example is split into its, uh, its different cubes. And we're also going to start talking about layers. Finding, volumes using la finding volume using layers instead of just counting each individual cube. So for example, I can see right away that in this particular shape, I can split these, this particular rectangular prism into four distinct layers, or slices if you would. Here we go. Which means I have one layer right here, and I have a second layer over here, I have a third layer in here, and then I have this fourth layer over here, running from left to right. I have a layer here, a layer here, a layer here, and a layer here. You have to use your imagination a little bit because this is a three-dimensional solid set on a, a flat surface, which is a two-dimensional surface. So it becomes a little difficult to see. Now, the only real question is how much is each layer worth? Well, if I count the cubes here, I have uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six cubes. So each layer, each layer equals six centimeter cubes. And since I have four such layers, that means it's six for each of these four layers. Now in my chart, let's, uh, let's take care of that. I have four layers, and the number of cubes in each layer would be six for a grand total of 24 cubic inches. Now they also want me to draw that on its own, so I'm going to just put an A to keep things organized here. So I have four layers, so I split my solid this way, which gives me one, two, three, four layers, each worth six cubes. Okay. Now there's another way I can do this, and they want us to dream up three different ways. So the first way I took care of, I can also take a look at this by splitting it in, uh, in half, top and bottom. Okay. So now I have two layers. I have one layer here, and I have that second layer underneath, or vice versa, it doesn't matter. And if I was to draw that in here, here it is, one here, one here. So now it's just a matter of what is each layer worth. Well, my bottom layer, or my second layer, or my first layer, whatever, my bottom layer here is one, two, three, four, four across, and it's one, two, three deep. Well, if I'm four across and three deep, that means I have 12. 12. And the second layer would be identical to that layer, which would also be 12. My 12 plus my 12 gives me 24. So I wound up with two layers, a top layer and a bottom layer. Each uh, layer is worth 12 for a total of 24 once again. Now there is another way I could decompose this particular solid. I can layer it from front to back. So I can have a layer here and a layer here. I like doing it on this one first before I go to the actual, oh, by the way, this is B. I go to, before I go to my sketch area over here, just so I know I'm right. And so this one's going to be a little difficult difficult to draw. It's going to be one here. And oh, yeah, it's going to be very difficult. There it is. I like it on this uh, the top one better. Uh, which means I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight per layer. There's an eight there, there's an eight there, and there's an eight there. Once again, an eight here, there's an eight there, and there's an eight in the back. OK? Which means I have three layers. It's part C, by the way. I have three layers now, each worth eight. 424 cubic centimeters. Okay, kind of neat, breaking these things down, finding the volume good and quick. Now, I just wanted to look at, this one's very similar, I want to look at the next one here, Stephen and Chelsea. They want to increase the volume of this prism by 72 cubic centimeters. This gets a little bit interesting. Um, Chelsea wants to add eight layers, and we're talking in layers here, kind of like slices. And Stephen wants, he says he can do it in, uh, add 72 cubic centimeters by adding only four layers. And the teacher says they're both correct. So let's talk about this. The first thing I want to do is find out the uh, what's going on with the slices. Let's find out the, fi the total volume. So what I'll do here is I'll split these into, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six slices. I have six slices, each worth, let's see, how much is that slice worth? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine worth nine, so I have 54, okay, cubic centimeters. There we go. Now, if each, were, if each slice is worth nine, and 
this guy says that he can add, let's see, oh, Chelsea, add eight layers to this. Well, if I want to increase this by 72, I want to increase by 72, and there are eight layers, okay, eight layers, all right, that means each has to be worth nine, right? Because eight times nine gives me 72. Well, since each of these layers is worth nine, that would mean I need to put on eight more, okay? Which is true. So if I put on eight more layers, if I just continued this, and this is going to look really bad. Oh, boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight layers, each worth nine. There I have it. I have a total of 72 because I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's 72, and they're all the same size. Well, they're supposed to be, and that can work. He's right. Uh, the other uh, way is to put four layers on. Well, if I do that, let's see. Let's try taking a look at the top layer here because that looks good and big. The top layer is worth 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, it's three deep. Uh, 6 times 3 gives me 18. That means each of these is worth 18. Now, if I put four layers of that, that's 18 times 4. I'm wondering, if that gives me 72, I'm in good shape. 4 times 8 gives me 32. 4 times 1 gives me 4, plus 3 gives me 7. Perfect. So, there you have it. They're both right. Sure, you can do uh, eight layers as long as it's the, these layers here, and you'll still get your addition of 72 cubic centimeters, or you can include four layers as long as you're doing this, these layers here, this top layer, because each of those is worth 18, and you need four of those because 18 times 4 gives me 72. And once again, there's your addition of 72 cubic centimeters. Okay? So that's how it can work. All right, so there's decomposing of solids, uh, finding volumes and working with it. It's pretty neat. The kids had a lot of fun today. All right, thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.